Hi everyone. Are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello Chickpea. Hello Treacle. Hi Stomp and Chirp. Hi Lennon. Hi Scoff. <laughs> hello Jangle. You're all going to the farm today. Can we come too? On the farm, you hear me and you. We hear strange sounds. Ba -ba Scoff and his friends have to feed some of the farm animals, but they can't find them. Don't worry, Scoff. We'll help you. <coughs> Look, here's the stable. Do you know which farm animal lives here? The horse, the pig, or the cow? You're right. The horse lives in the stable. Well done, everyone. We've helped Scoff and his friends find one of the animals. Can you guess what's hiding in the picture? Let's join the dots together and find out. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Have you guessed yet? You're right, a tractor. And look who's driving the tractor. Lennon. Hi, Lennon. That's a great idea. Let's go and help Scoff find another farm animal. Look, a sty. Do you know which farm animal lives here? The horse, the pig, or the cow? You're right, the pig lives in a sty. Well done, everyone. Today's letter. P. P for pig. P. Story time. Today's story is called Dewey the Dinosaur. Dewey the Dinosaur was very excited. He was going to spend the day on the farm with his friend Scoff and couldn't wait to wear his brand new shiny red boots. The day before, 
Dewi and Jangle had been to the dinosaur shoe shop to choose the boots. What do you think? Dewi asked Jangle as he marched back and forth proudly. Oh, I love the colour, replied Jangle. Do they feel comfortable? Oh yes, they fit perfectly, said Dewi, delighted. After eating his breakfast, Dewi eagerly took the lovely red boots out of the box. Grinning from ear to ear, he couldn't wait to put them on his feet and set off down to the farm to meet Scoff. Where's Dewi? Scoff wondered. He's very late. At last, Scoff saw his friend in the distance, stumbling very slowly towards him. He noticed that Dewi was wearing a brand new shiny red boot on each foot. But he looked as if he was about to fall over. Ouch! cried Dewi as he hobbled over to Scoff. I love your new boots, Scoff said. Why do you look so sad? Oh, Scoff! cried Dewi. I don't know what's happened to my new boots. They are so uncomfortable I can barely walk. Why would you buy such uncomfortable boots? asked Scoff, confused. They were fine in the shop, replied Dewi. I don't understand. Scoff looked closely at Dewi's feet and burst into laughter. Oh, Dewi, cried Scoff. You've put your boots on the wrong feet. What? Dewi stared down at his feet and started to giggle. Scoff helped Dewi to put his boots back on the right feet. And you know what? They felt ever so much better. Thank you, Scoff, said Dewi. But of course, the red boots didn't stay shiny for long. Especially after a day on the muddy farm. OK, we're almost there. Let's help Scoff find one more farm animal. Do you know who lives here in the barn? The horse? The pig? Or the cow? You're right, the cow lives in the barn. You're right, Scoff, feeding the animals is hard work. And now you're hungry too. <laughs> Let's play a game. Who am I? I look after the animals. I work outside in the fresh air. I milk the cows and shear the sheep. Who am I? I'm the farmer. We've had fun on the farm today. See you for more fun with Chickpea and Friends next time. On the farm, yeah, me and you, we hear strange sounds by everyone. Are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello Chickpea. Hello Treacle. Hi Stomp and Chirp. Hello. 
Simon. Hi, Scott. <laughs> Hello, Jangle. You're going on an adventure under the sea? Can we come too? Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun Let's see the creatures that live here, come and meet them everyone Oh, can you spot the octopus with its eight legs, do you see? And over there's a jellyfish, I hope it won't sting me. Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun. Let's see the creatures that live here, come and meet them, everyone. Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun. Let's see the creatures that live here, come and meet them. Now I can see a smiling shark with its teeth so sharp and bright And look at all the starfish with their five arms, what a sight Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun Let's see the creatures that live here, come and meet them, everyone There's lots and lots of tiny fish swimming quickly to and fro There's so much more to see the magic world below Let's all swim beneath the waves It's magical fun Let's see the creatures that live here Come and meet them everyone Hi Lennon and Scoff, you sound excited You've seen a creature with five arms? Do you know what Lennon and Scoff have seen? Let's join the dots together and find out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lennon and Scoff have seen a starfish. Starfish have five arms. Today's number. Five. Five starfish. Chickpea. Do you want to play a game with us? Can you match the shadow to its picture? Is it a fish? A crab? Or is it an octopus? An octopus? Let's see if you're right. Well done, everyone. It's an octopus. Story time. Today's story is called Frank the Crab. The sky was blue, the sun was shining and the animals were having a lovely time on the beach. Stomp was playing ball in the sea with Jangle. Lennon the lion was sunbathing with Chickpea and Chirp. Treacle was building a sandcastle. And Scoff, well he was having his own little adventure down by the rock pool, looking at all sorts of sea creatures swimming in the water. Suddenly, Scoff heard someone crying. A boo hoo 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 He looked around and saw a little crab on one of the rocks. 
Hello, said Scoff gently. What's wrong? Why are you crying? I haven't got any friends, answered the crab. No one wants to play with me. All the other sea creatures are scared of me. But why? asked Scoff. Because I've got big claws. Suddenly, the little crab waved his claws in front of Scoff. Wow, said Scoff, smiling. But aren't you afraid of them too? asked the crab. Afraid? No, those are awesome. I've only got a little tail. Look. Scoff shook his tail and the little crab smiled. He liked Scoff. He was funny. My name's Frank, he said. What's yours? Scoff, he replied. Hey, Frank, you've got to meet my friends. They're all so different from each other, you'd love them. I'll be back now. And off he went. Before long, all the animals were down by the rock pool meeting Frank. Hello, I'm Stomp the Elephant and I've got a big strong trunk. I'm Lennon and I can roar really loudly. <coughs> My name's Jangle, and I've got a very long neck. Wow! Yes, you have, said Frank, looking up. I'm Chirp. I can't swim like you, but I can fly. Hi, I'm Treacle, and I have three legs and a wheel. And my name is Chickpea. I love meeting new friends, and I think your claws are great. Frank was so happy. You see, said Scoff, we might all be different, but we're all great friends. And Frank made not one, but seven new friends that day. Look everyone, Chirp and Stomp have been exploring under the sea. Can you spot the difference between these two pictures? Look carefully. You're right. There's a crab in this picture, but not in this one. Well done everyone for spotting the difference. We've had fun exploring under the sea today. See you for more fun with Chickpea and friends next time. Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun. Let's see the creatures that live here, come and meet them everyone. Spot the octopus with its eight legs, do you see? And over there's a jellyfish, I hope it won't sting me. Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun. Let's see the creatures that live here, come and meet them, everyone. Now I can see a smiling shark with its teeth so sharp and bright. everyone. Are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello Chickpea. Hello Treacle. Hi Stomp and Chirp. Hi Lennon. Hi Scoff. <laughs> hello Jangle. Sports day today. Can we join in too? <laughs> Let's get moving, come on everyone. Jumping up and down is lots of fun. Eating food that's fresh and healthy. Don't forget.
forget to eat fruit, drink water and some milk. A breakfast, lunch and dinner is a good idea, don't you think? Let's get moving, come on everyone. Jumping up and down is lots of fun. Day today in Chickpea's world. And look, Scoff and Chickpea are warming up on the trampoline. Hi, you two. <laughs> You're right. Bouncing up and down is great fun and a great way to keep fit. <laughs> Have either of you two seen Lennon? <laughs> he was playing in the ball pit when you last saw him. Great. Let's go and find him. See Lennon anywhere? Can you? <laughs> there you are! Oh, you're warming up in the ball pit before you take part in the sack race with Stomp and Chirp. That's a good idea. But remember, it doesn't matter who wins, doing your best is what's important, Lennon. between these two pictures of the tug-of-war? Look carefully. You're right. There's a red flag on the rope in this picture, but not in this picture. Well done, everyone, for spotting the difference. Story time! Today's story is called Chickpea and the Apple Tree. It was a lovely sunny day. All the animals were out playing and keeping fit in the park, except for Chickpea, who was in the kitchen preparing a fresh fruit salad for tea. She'd carefully sliced the bananas, oranges and strawberries and placed them in a big bowl. Chickpea looked at her colourful fruit salad. Hmm, something's missing, she thought. What could it be? Then she remembered. Apples! I'll go to the orchard and pick some. So Chickpea went to fetch her basket and off she went. She arrived at the orchard and gazed up at the big tall tree with plenty of juicy apples hanging from its branches. Suddenly she remembered that it was usually Jangle's job to pick the apples as she had such a long neck. How am I going to reach them? Chickpea wondered. I'll have to jump. So she took a deep breath and jumped as high as she could, again and again, flapping and stretching her little wings as far as they would go. But there was no way she was going to reach those apples. Oh no, she sighed. What am I going to do? There'll be no apples for my fruit salad. Then, who came strolling along but Dewey the dinosaur. He stopped beside one of the trees, admiring the big, red, juicy apples. Suddenly, Chickpea had a brilliant idea. Quietly, she jumped onto Dewey's back so she could reach the apples. Dewey didn't notice a thing. He was too busy daydreaming. Yes! Chickpea whispered triumphantly and quickly collected the apples in her basket before sliding back down Dewey's tail. Later that afternoon, all the animals were enjoying their fresh fruit salad. Thank you for our tasty tea, said Jangle. She gazed out of the window towards the orchard, then turned to her little friend, slightly confused. 
Chickpea? she asked. How did you manage to reach the apples high up in the tree? Ah, said Chickpea, smiling. I found an excellent stepladder. <laughs> Look, everyone, it's the egg and spoon race, and Chirp is in the lead. Let's cheer her on together. Chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> chirp, chirp. Oh, come on, Chirp. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Hooray, she's won. Well done, Chirp. Can you guess what's hiding in this picture? Let's join the dots together and find out. Ready? One, two, three, four. Have you guessed yet? <laughs> You're right, it's a ball. Stomp loves playing ball. Look, everyone. It's the sack race. That's it, Lennon. You're doing great. <gasps> hey, let's all jump up and down and pretend we're in the sack race too. Oh, <laughs> yes. This is so much fun. <laughs> Sports day's been great. See you for more adventures with Chippy and her friends next time. Let's get moving, come on everyone. Jumping up and down is lots of fun. Eating fun that's fresh and healthy. Helps us all to grow, yes you and me. Don't forget to eat fruit, drink water and some milk. A breakfast, lunch and dinner is a good idea, don't you think? Let's get moving, come on everyone Jumping up and down is lots of fun